And communication in the classroom, why is it important? It almost feels like a silly question yeah. to ask because we know that uh, communication is, is really central to uh, everything that happens um, in the classroom. And of course, you can't separate development and education. And education, we can see it as the intersection of emotion and cognition. And I think it's really important to talk about the concept of, of comprehension. It's hard, if not impossible, to understand what is not meaningful to you. And it's hard to remember what you don't understand. So you kind of get slammed on both sides. Um, comprehension, day to day, the learning of specific content, knowing what you know and figuring out what you still need to know and then using what you know is what it's about. But if the basic comprehension isn't there, and that's, you know, then you just, you can't move on. And that's one of the things that's frustrating, I believe you alluded to it. Um, the kids that get pushed on through because, um, you know, some school districts, Karen can be more articulate about this than me, but certainly in Canada, there's um, very much a move right now. You, they've got to go with their peers. They've got to go with their peers. So you push a student that um, has a very scattered profile with maybe some academic skills down in the grade one to two level, um, some solidly a grade two level, some below that, and we push them on to grade four because they've got to be with their peers. And it's impossible. That teacher has an impossible job because um, she's dealing with someone with or he with holes in the Swiss cheese. So. Um, and what's resulted is the case that Monica presented yesterday with that yeah. guy that had you know, very poor self-esteem, had no trust in relationships, and, and wanted to hide in the basement of our school every day. He was one of those kids that, that looked okay, was pushed through, but then we, see, we saw all the fallback and the resultant behaviors.